Yo, what's poppin' guys? It's your boy Crooks the Great back at you guys with another banger of a UFC 4 video. And today we're gonna be using Bilal Muhammad, fresh off him being added to UFC 4. So there you see his perks. We're gonna go ahead and look at his punch speed here. 92, punch power 90, has a good switch stance. His takedowns are a 93 top control, 93 bottom control, 90. So looking pretty good. Has a solid chin at 92, good body health at 90, as well as some really, really good cardio. And we're gonna be taking on the newly crowned metafighter of the welterweight division himself, Hamzat Shemaev. Now, if you guys didn't know uh, about Hamzat, he did receive an update. So now he's 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 a little bit OP'd now. He's a little bit OP'd. But we're going to be trying to do the best we can to get a finish here with Bilal Muhammad here in our first fight of the video. Now, I'm very excited that they did add this guy to... Uh, Bilal Muhammad to the game because a lot of people have been asking for it and I know he's been asking for it as well on Twitter uh, So here we're just Figuring out how he moves his movements a little stiff as we get caught with an uppercut trying to go down to the body right there It's gonna test out his chin, but He's a little bit stiff in his movement. It's not very fluid, but it's to be expected. He doesn't really move a Lot in real life. He has good movement as we shoot for the first single leg and we're able to to get Hamzat down. Now this is really where Bilal is going to shine if you're gonna use him in UFC 4, is his grappling. So there we're able to go to side control. We block the half guard transition right there from Hamzat. We're gonna go for top mount. We're gonna be able to get him here in top mount. Now this is where we need to try to get off the damage against Hamzat, is in top mount. But the guy's able to get us back down we block the get up transition right there from him we punch posture back up and we're going to try to rain down the heavy ground and pound strikes from Bilal here and we're doing a good job but he's able to pull us back down without getting finished now he's trying to go for the get up again but we block it we got full ga we're posturing up again good job by him slipping off the straight punch right there now we try to block that half guard transition but he was able to get it through, but we immediately go to side control. And this is really where we are going to try to control him is here in side control. We block two transitions right there. We're going to go for the inverted triangle here with Bilal. This is one of the harder subs in the game to get, so I bail out of it. He still has really, really low stamina. So we're going to go for the crucifix. Now this could be very, very dangerous for my opponent here. If he's not smart with his transitions, but he is... He's able to get out of it there. We're raining down the elbows onto his head here with Bilal. He rolls. We're going to posture up and try to roll him back to side control, which we do so successfully. He's able to hit the half guard transition with very, very good stuff. And he blocks the posture up. So he's starting to get our rhythm just a little bit. So we need to try to calm down. We block that transition. We're punching again that full GA. And we're going right back to where we want to be at, which is side control. We block another transition right there from him. He's able to get the half guard transition. We punch. Then we posture up just to mix up the timing on it. Now we're back really where we want to be at. Blocking that transition right back to crucifix. That's a very, very bad position. I'm telling you. He's got low stamina. We've blocked two transitions right there. We're raining down the heavy ground and pound elbows. And the guy gets so mad that we actually do make him quit with Hamzat Shemaev. Very, very good, dominant groundwork by us right here with Bilal. And I have a feeling he's going to be all right for you guys that are grapplers out there. But let's go ahead and jump into the second fight that we do have for you guys here on the video. Now, here we are, guys. We are going up against my buddy, JMMA, again. And we're doing a Bilal Muhammad mirror match. So this one's going to be a little bit tougher because, you know, we're the same fighter. Um, so he knows what we're going to be trying to do as well as we know he we know what he's going to be trying to do. So we're bowing right here because we didn't touch gloves. And now we're underway. Now in this one, we're going to try to set up the takedown better with the strikes than we did against Hamzat. Obviously, we did get caught with an uppercut in the last fight. So we just need to be careful of, of Jay doing the same thing. So here we're just trying to space it out, trying to mix up the timing and looking for an opportunity to shoot for a takedown. There we blitz him, get him backing up just a little bit, go down to the body. Good double jab right there by us, good lead hook. 
and we shoot for our first single leg and we're able to get him down off of the first attempt now we're in half guard and Jay is a pretty good grappler in his own right so we're not just going to rush things as he blocks that top mount transition right there we fake he gets us back into full guard right here he does a good job of faking down something that I do a lot but we transition right through it punching to gain that GA and notice the hand that I'm punching with guys I'm punching with the hand that does not cover up his full guard transition which would be our left arm we posture up here we're just throwing a couple of good ground and pound strikes here just to get a read for what he's trying to block we fake we're punching to gain that GA he's not really biting on the fakes too much so we're just going to need to utilize the punch. We transition right through the guard right there. He's able to get us back to half guard. So, so far, so good for him. He was able to neutralize us, but we do get to side control, which is a very, very dangerous position here. There, we're able to get the crucifix again. Now we're going to try to do what we did to Hamzat, to Jay here. We're throwing some good elbows on the ground, good heavy ground and pound elbows. Jay's able to get us back into side control in the side saddle right here he's gonna roll we're gonna posture up get him back in the side control which you are able to do so successfully he's punching our body like he should be we're putting a posture up knee on belly here he did a good job of posting up the hook right there and it gets us back into his half guard but look at the time the time that we have spent on top in jay's half guard it's really what we're trying to do. This is what, how you have to use Bilal Muhammad in UFC 4. And now we're raining off some heavy ground and pound damage here. Getting that head health down nice and low. Punching the gain that GA. But like I was saying, this is how you have to use Bilal Muhammad here in UFC 4 as Jay hits the nice Kimura sweep right there. Now we are on our backs. He does have a good 90 off the back. But we don't want to give Jay any... Any opportunities to rain down the heavy ground and pound damage that we were able to. We fake right there to full guard. We transition straight through his arm triangle fake. We're going to punch and we're going to get back to our feet. And that's going to be the end of the first round. We did a very, very good job of mixing in that single leg takedown. And then when we did get Jay down to the ground, we were able to maintain top control as well as get some nice ground and pound damage in. So we're going to try to do the same thing here in the second round. We're going to try to set it up. It's going to be a little more challenging now because he knows that's what we're going for. So we need to mix up the timing and maybe strike on the feet just a little bit more. Trying to utilize the jab. Just taking our time, going down to the body. Nice block breaking combination right there by Jay, but we answer back with a good combination of our own. Just taking our time, not rushing anything. Catch him with a good calf kick. Going down to the body. He's starting to unload as we get closer. So we're going to just need to be aware of that as we're entering in the pocket. Try to pull counter him, but he wasn't there to be found. Nice jab to the body. Nice jab up or nice jab lead hook, but we heard him right there drop him. But we're not jumping on each other. We let him back up because we don't want to get swept either. So we're ripping down to the body. Nice jab, rear body hook by him. We're just taking our time, not rushing anything. You can strike with Bilal, but it's a little bit more challenging. Like I said, I highly wouldn't recommend it. You're going to strike to set up takedowns. Nice three-piece right there by Jay. We catch him with a clean three-piece that ends in a nice little lead body hook. Now he's starting to put the pressure on us. Catching him with the three punch combinations to his block. He shoots for the double right there. We blocked the first one, but he's able to get us with the second one right there. Nice clean work from Jay. We try to fake right there, but he does block it. Gaining that full GA, he postures up. I'm surprised he didn't really go for stack guard right there. But here we're just punching, jockeying for that GA, waiting for him to move. Now, as you guys can see, he's punching and draining out his stamina. So we're going to allow him to do that. But we have to be quick on the denial of when he actually does try to move. We block the posture up right there. We're going to go for the half guard sweep and we're able to get it there with Bilal. We posture up just because he punched us with the hand that was on the head just to reset the clock. He fakes for the Kimura and we go to top mount. 
Now, if we could get a denial off here, we might be able to get some heavy ground and pound damage in. And we were able to block. We posture up here. Now, we're just raining down heavy ground and pound strikes. And we're able to get the finish with Bilal Muhammad due to those nasty ground and pound strikes that he does have. Whew. Very, very clean, solid work with Bilal with that elite level grappling that he does have in UFC 4. But that's it for the video, guys. Make sure if you guys are new to the channel and you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. I do post UFC 4 content to the channel daily as well as stream UFC 4 where I give tips and tricks on how to be a better player. But until then, guys, until the next video, guys, take it easy. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you're watching this from. And I will see you guys in the next video.